hundreds of injured patients in emergency rooms and thousands more who found shelter in Al Quad's hospital over the past few weeks are now told to leave. The hospital's management received warnings early Sunday that it will be the next target for Israeli forces, an announcement that the World Health Organization finds deeply concerning. While the head of the WHO said in a tweet that moving patients from a hospital is endangering their lives, it's not the first time they have been told to leave. We came to take refuge in the hospital. We were told it was safe here. And now we've been asked to leave because they want to bomb it. Where should we go? There's no safer place than here. While the United Nations failed to impose a humanitarian truce in Gaza, the situation continues to deteriorate. In Khan Yunis, thousands of residents broke into warehouses and distribution centers of the United Nations Palestinian Refugee Agency, grabbing whatever they could for survival. And all this in the shadow of further military operations by the Israeli forces. The ground fighting in the northern Gaza Strip continues. We are progressing through the stages of war according to plan. We gradually expand the ground operation and scale of forces in the Gaza Strip. The ground operation is complex and involves risks for our forces too. We will do everything in our power, from the air, sea and ground, safety of our forces and to achieve the war's objectives. With the first light of day, the destruction of the overnight bombardment becomes apparent. Now, as the internet and electricity are gradually restored, Gazans are hoping to continue and expand the search for their loved ones among the rubble. Evangelos Sipsas for CGTN.